In this example, we're going to work through a word problem, and it looks like Joe and Sue both have money, and the amount of money that Sue has is given by this expression 5D minus 3, and that's measured in dollars, and the amount of money that Joe has is also in an expression 45 minus 3D, and again, that's in dollars. So let's look at these uh, five different questions. Part A is asking, well, how much money do they have together? Well, we don't know an exact dollar amount, and we don't have a value for D, so the best we can do is simply add up their expressions. So Sue is 5D minus 3, and to that we're going to add 45 minus 3D. So it looks like 5D plus a negative 3D, and that's going to be 2D, and negative 3 plus 45 looks like 42. So the amount of money they have together will be 2D plus 42 dollars. Okay, well, part B says, well, given that the value of D is 8, now how much money do they have together? Well, now that we have a value for D, we're able to go ahead and substitute that value in. So we'll say 2D plus 42, so 2 times 8 plus 42, and 2 times 8 is 16 plus 42. So it looks like $58 they have together. And we'll put that dollar sign out in front, okay? So let's go ahead and plug that eight in for just Sue and just Joe and see how much they had each to, um, separately because we know they had $58 together. So five times eight is 40, minus three is $37. So it looks like Sue had 37. And for Joe, Let's see, 45 minus 3 times 8. Well, 3 times 8 is 24. So 45 minus 24 should be 21. And so together, uh, yeah, there's the $58. Okay? So part C is asking us, uh, well, how much more money does Joe have than Sue? So Joe has more, so we're going to say Joe minus Sue. Okay? And that's how we can find that difference, just how much more Joe has than Sue. So again, we're going to use these expressions, and I'm going to say 45 minus 3D, that expression. And from that, I'm going to subtract the expression 5D minus 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So Joe was 45 minus 3D, and from that, I'm going to subtract 5D minus 3. And right here, it's worth saying, uh, it's very important to keep the parentheses around these expressions. And the reason is, is because when we subtract, we need to distribute that negative to those terms. And if we leave off the parentheses, all we're doing is subtracting the 5D and then saying minus 3, instead of distributing and subtracting a negative 3, which we'll see will end up being the addition of 3. So just be careful with these parentheses. So 45 plus 3 is 48, and then negative 3D and negative 5D is negative 8D, and that's the expression in dollars that will be the amount of money that Joe has more than Sue. Okay, so part D then says, well, what if D equals 5? Then how much more money does Joe have than Sue? Well, that means we can go ahead and plug that 5 in for this D. So we'll have 48 minus 8 times 5. So 48 minus, and 8 times 5 is 40. So it looks like $8. Okay? So Joe has 8 more dollars than Sue when the value of D equals 5. Well, let's go ahead and plug that 5 in for both uh, Joe and Sue and find out exactly just how much they have and kind of verify that it is $8 more. So 45 minus 3D, that would be Joe, and that's going to be 45 minus 15, so that's $30. And Sue then is going to be 5 uh, times 5 minus 3, so 25 minus 3, and that'll be $22. So $30 and $22, yeah, that's $8 more. Okay, finally then, well, uh, what is the value of D that will give Joe and Sue the same amount of money? And how much money will that be? So to find out when they're the same, I'm going to take those two expressions and I'm going to set them equal to each other. Okay? 
So by adding 3D to both sides and then adding 3 to both sides, these 3Ds cancel, gets my D variable on the right. These 3s cancel, gets my constants on the left. So it looks like 48 equals 8D. So when I divide both sides by 8, it looks like 6 equals D or in fact D equals 6. So remember, this is not a dollar sign. This is not an amount of money here. This D is just a variable, okay? So D is six. So we need to go ahead and plug that six into these expressions. And we only really need to plug it into one because the dollar amount will be the same because that's what we just solved for. So let's go ahead and say 45 minus 3D. And let's go ahead and plug that six in. So it looks like 45 minus 18 and that should be $27. And uh, again, it doesn't matter which expression you plug it back into because they're the same. So that's how we can go ahead and work with some expressions. Joe and Sue both had money. We didn't know exactly how much money, but we had an expression for each one of them. So we were able to work with the expressions and then plug in a value of D. Work with some ex expressions and then plug in a value of D. And we were actually able to also solve for values of D on our own and plug them in.